Google, it ain't your big brother's search engine anymore. What's happening? I'm Mike Janella for 8012. Google is so ingrained in our lives by this point, it's insane to think that it used to just be the best search engine in the world. Check it out. Google kicked off its first public version in 1998. Early tweaks look related to what you still find today. Compared to the cluttered competition at the time, Google's simplicity and deliverables were revolutionary. This is hard to believe now, but it was four years of status quo before Google Image Search launched. It was in the mid-2000s, Google went all Will Smith in the 90s and put out a smash every year. 2004, Gmail. 2005, Google Maps. 06, Calendar and Translate. And bought YouTube. 2007, Universal Search, getting all your results in one. 2008, Google Chrome. Literally all things I've used in the last eight hours. The company's well of consumer-facing home runs has dried up since then. But Google's made up for it in ways you might not have known. Drive and photos are iCloud storage killing saviors. Books hopes to digitize literally every book ever written by the end of the decade. Google Green is trying to revolutionize how we power everything. They even made an app that solves your Sudoku for you. Some developments are more influential than others. The number of products and services under the Google umbrella is almost immeasurable. So what can a company that size do next? Take over the world. I mean it. Project Loon will use balloons in the stratosphere to bring Wi-Fi literally everywhere. Google Street View still has half the globe in its sights. Smart technology in your body could fight all your diseases. Soon, Googling something, for better or worse, may just mean waking up in the morning. Catch you next time on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to subscribe, like our videos, and leave a comment. Look, I'm mad they started showing Christmas commercials before Halloween too, but can we just move on?